Director, it's all because of alcohol. I'm just wondering, why did he drink so much, huh? Well, we had a faculty meeting last night. The head of gastroenterology told us in their department they had 16 esophageal cancer patients in just one day. The youngest was 27. The tumors were found in the median esophagus, so they were throwing up a lot of blood after drinking too much alcohol. It's really bad for the body. <sighs> then I guess they should make a law against forcing other people to drink. <sighs> what was that all about? Even if her husband's dying, she can't hit a doctor. <sighs> Come on. Don't be so surprised. She just lost her control. I'm sure she'll be okay. You know, I have a very strong feeling that woman is strict at home. Because if she isn't like that, then why would her husband stay out drinking every night? That's enough. Stop judging the patients, okay? If that's what you want. <sighs> Today we attended to a male patient with liver cirrhosis. He's 35, a company executive. Meeting and drinking with his clients every night, at least half a bottle a day. He had a family and a child. Now he's gone. What's so great about drinking? rubbing your face or it might stay that way look at my crappy luck see all of this has nothing to do with me but I'm the one that got smacked in the end it has nothing to do with you come on you're an ER doctor everything about the patient has to do with you so you shouldn't be surprised if you got hit by that woman anyway eat first I bought some snacks so all of you would feel a little better <laughs> thanks dr. Chung thanks dr. Chung yeah whatever but I still feel terrible Terrible? Mm, that's normal. I'm sure that you'll get used to it, huh? <laughs> used to it? Mm. Why do you think I would want that? Anyway, Dr. Chung, I've been meaning to ask you this, but why did you choose ER? If you went to another department, you'd be a great doctor too. I agree that you would be a great doctor in any department. <laughs> Damn right. Actually, in case you wanted to know, when I was still in school, my marks were the best in our class. Dr. Zheng was my mentor during my internship. He's the one who said I should pursue my career at the ER. After I graduated, he insisted that I should stay here. And without hesitation, I accepted it. What does it take to be an ER doctor? I noticed that you seem to look down on us. Everyone does? You guys. Fine. Okay, let me fill you in with some details. I suppose you already know, since you're medical interns, an ER doctor has to react fast and should have good intuition. In medicine, if surgeons keep death at bay, on the other hand, an anesthesiologist removes the pain. That also works in our case. Specialists keep the illnesses away, while the emergency physicians, we save the day. The specialist must identify the patient's condition, while the ER doctor, he or she determines the patient's vital signs and other indices, and whether or not they're life-threatening. First of all, you need to stabilize the condition. Then get a specialist for the patient's treatment. That's how important an ER doctor in the hospital is. It may sound like it's very simple, but when it comes to doing it, only a few doctors can. Should we be that good? Of course, but don't worry about it since you're still starting. I'm pretty sure you'll get there if you work hard. What about me? You too. Just work hard. And Xiao Chong? Hey, no, 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 no. No need for that since I'm just a part-time doctor. You know what my major is. Writing, am I right? Right. <laughs> Dr. Chung. Yeah. Well, I noticed this morning that you smelled like alcohol. Did you guys drink last night? Uh, yeah. Why'd you ask? You should really try to avoid drinking because it's really bad for your health. <laughs> right. You have to take care of your body. The body's the capital funds of revolution. If something wrong happens to you, then sooner or later... Well, well, you know. If Dr. Ouyang finally decides to hit me up, then who would I seek for advice? <laughs> Are you done with your jokes? Next time, if you're going to joke around, just do it to me and don't involve other people. And one more thing, Dr. Ouyang and I, we're just, we're just, well, we're just regular colleagues, all right? What? Dr. Chung, you've already given up? Dr. Chung, something's not right with you today. You and Dr. Shen are both acting weird. Really? How do you say so? Why don't you just mind your own business, okay, and just focus on your internship? Are you guys done with your drinks yet? Because if you are, then you better get going because we're busy today. And if I ever catch you poking or talking about this topic with each other, 
I will give you more overnights. Goodbye, Dr. Chow. Goodbye. Dan. Dr. Shen, Dr. Liu. Well then, you're already out of bed. <sighs> That's for sure. After she got rid of those tubes last night, all she wanted to do was to stand up and walk around this room, and she didn't even want to go back to her bed to get some rest. Director Liu, we really don't know how to thank you for everything. Thank you so much for your help. Ma'am, it's all right. We're just doing our job. Dr. Shen, thank you so much. It's all right. You don't have to, okay? <laughs> the ER doctors, you should thank them, not me. They're the ones that attended to you first. If not for them, something worse could have happened. We must thank all of you. <laughs> Honey. I'd like you to meet my husband. Anyway, he made you these two silk banners. Well, this one, it's especially for you. And the other one is for all the doctors and nurses in the ER. Ah, uh, Li Dan, I can't accept this. It was all a team effort. I can't accept it. Oh. Dr. Shen, just take it. You really deserve it. Please take it. Dr. Shen, thank you so much. Please take it. Please take it. Please take it. Just take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here's the second one for all the doctors and nurses here. Well, if it's okay with you, and if you can, please take us there. That's a great idea. Dr. Shen, shall we go now? Okay, I'm going to take you there now. so much. Allow me to show you all my respect. It's okay now, Lidan, Lidan. Among all our patients who entered the ER and ended up getting discharged to a specialist, it's very seldom for them to come and see the ER doctors. That's very thoughtful of you to do this gesture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it was you. I remember you. If it weren't for you, I would have never woken up. Thank you, Doctor. <clears throat> and also to you. And to everyone else. <laughs> After entering the ER that day, I can clearly remember all of your faces. I will never forget you. Thank you for everything. It's all right, Lidan. You just recovered. You still need to get some rest. Well, anyway, it's Dr. Shen that you should really thank. Because if it weren't for him, you may not have made it. I really wish someone would also give me a silk banner. Enough talking about banners. Let's just think about what we'll eat for dinner. Well, let me think. What about Japanese? Hey, Dr. Oyoung. Dr. Oyoung. Hello. <sighs> Don't you think that Dr. Oyoung is acting a bit weird today? Yeah, she is acting kind of strange. I wonder what happened. For sure it has something to do with Dr. Chung and Dr. Shen. 
As for the details, I don't know. What? You don't know anything? If you don't, then ask me. We well, think that Dr. Oyoung is acting weird today. Do you know what happened? Well, of course I don't know. <sighs> hey, how about we invite Dr. Oyoung to have dinner? Yeah, sure. Come on, let's go. Xiao Chan, please slow down. Inviting me to dinner? For what reason? Because you're our teacher, so it's only proper for us to buy you dinner. That's right. And since we seldom invite you to go out for dinner, you can't refuse us. Because we really want to hear more of your uh, wisdom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then let's go to Xiao Chong's house. We're going to my house? I suggest let's just go to a fancy restaurant instead. I don't like fancy restaurants. Either we go to your place, or I'm not going. Mm, okay then. I'll order some stuff. No, no. You'll cook for us. You've cooked for Dr. Chung, right? I want you to cook for me. That's right. You're a good cook, so just whip up something. Uh, okay, I'll cook. Here you go. Let's see if you like what I've prepared for our dinner tonight. I'll try it first. How was it? Hmm, not bad. I guess you do know how to cook. Ah. <laughs> well, Dr. Oyang, other than being a medical intern, he's also good at cooking. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's not bad at all. So why did you want to talk to me? Zuyamong, you're the honest one. What's up? Uh, Dr. Ouyang, we just wanted to spend more time with you because you scare Xiao Chen to death. She gets nervous whenever we mention you, don't you? Uh -huh. But you know she really loves medicine. Just get to the point. We want to get to know you better. We're just really curious. Why are you so serious? Well, that's my personality. I don't think that's your personality. You're nice to Dr. Chung and Dr. Shen, too. Uh, okay, I get it. I suppose you really want to know what's going on, right? Oh, no! Dr. Oyang, we're just concerned about you. Please believe us. We saw you weren't in a good mood today, so we decided to invite you out to dinner and have a chat. And so you can say what's on your mind. Right, to have dinner and some chatting. We noticed Dr. Chung and Dr. Shen were acting differently towards you. And we thought something wrong had happened. So we just wanted to help you out. But they're just both being nice to me. Perhaps as their colleague. Yes, the way they treated you today was completely normal. But the problem is... You, you're just not a mere colleague to them. Dr. Ouyang, I heard they drank together last night. And that's going to be a big problem. A big problem. There's nothing wrong with two colleagues having a drink together. But Dr. Ouyang, they're arch rivals, remember? Nothing good happens when foes drink together. Or maybe they came up with some kind of agreement. That's why we're all here. Dr. Ouyang, from now on you don't have to avoid us. We're your friends now, and you can count on us, okay? And even though we know that none of us three are as genius as you are, we can do pretty well once we team up. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you for your concern, guys. But I think I know how to deal with this. Anyway, I don't see any problem with the way things are now. So don't you worry about it anymore. Understood? Let's eat now. The patient's pretty stable right now. Don't let him drink for another four hours. And if you find any swelling on his feet, get something tall and put it underneath his legs. Hey, guys. Hi, Dr. Chung. Hi. Next patient. Hello. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Check the vital signs and record them properly. <clears throat> Let's see if there's any improvement from the last time. What's the matter with you? Why are you raising your eyebrows? Oh Young's been acting weird today. She was so cold. She just ignored me when I tried to talk to her. It's normal for her to ignore you. Of course not. Did she become like that because you said something to her? Didn't we agree to leave her alone for a while? Uh, Dr. Shen, how many of these do you take every day anyway? Read the label. Wu Yang, if you can't take your meals regularly, I got you this. Multivitamins. It has the vitamins our body needs regularly. I'm fine. You can keep it for yourself. It looks like she's being distant towards both of us, man. Why do you think she's acting like that, huh? Yeah. I wonder what's up with her. Well, she didn't find out about our agreement, am I right? I don't think so. Come on, come on, come on! Hey, come on! Hey, slow down because my foot is still sore! I'm aware that your foot's healing slowly, so I decided to buy something for you. 
A foot massager? Yeah, some of the patients really like them. Go on and try it. Maybe it'll help with the healing. Since when were you so nice to me? What? I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for myself. <laughs> if your foot doesn't heal, then that's it for me. I'm gonna have to do all the running around here. I might become a marathon champion soon. Why do you really have to make everything sound so terrible? Your gesture was already touching. Just go ahead and try it. <sighs> Yeah. Uh. What's up, guys? Is there any problem? Is it true that you guys invited Ouyang to have dinner at your house last night? Yeah. What's the matter? What did you guys say to Ouyang last night? We didn't say anything. So you didn't say anything. Then how come Ouyang is acting differently today, huh? huh? We didn't say anything. We just had dinner with Dr. Ouyang because she's also our mentor. We only talked about our internship. Oh. Uh, are you sure about that? For example, when Dr. Cheng and I went out to drink together, you guys went out to drink? When did this happen? Why didn't you invite me? I could have made some dishes for oh, us. Stop playing dumb. You think I wouldn't know? Just tell us the truth. But I didn't say anything. And I don't know anything. So what's the truth? Okay. You can go back to work. Can I go now? You better get going or else. A little liar. He's not telling the truth. My thoughts exactly. How much do you think they said to Ouyang? I said nothing. Neither did you. When the three of them got together, they must have guessed it. Perhaps that's what happened. Hmm. They can guess whatever they want. But it seems Ouyang believes what they said. What should we do now? Going back on your word now? No, of course not. Then we continue as planned. We had an agreement, right? I still have to work. I gotta go. Sure. Dr. Shen! What are you doing here? Your mother's here. She's waiting for you at the lobby. Mom, sis, what are you doing here? You think I'm not supposed to do anything? You left without saying a word. I think I sent you an email. Yes, I read your email. It was very good. So you're saying you agree with my decision? Do you think I have any choice? If I don't agree, would you go and come with me? There you go, Mom. I knew you'd understand. I didn't come here to talk about your work. Tell her to come over. I want to see her. Who is it? Oh, young Yu Lu. Uh, she's not the reason why I'm here. Do you expect me to believe that you don't like her? That you don't plan on being with her? Then I guess my assumptions were wrong. Anyway, your father wanted to introduce you to his colleague's daughter. Then I suddenly found out about this Oh Young lady of yours. Well, I told him not to meddle with you. But it looks like I'm the one who's meddling. Anyway, tell him to contact his colleague's daughter immediately. I didn't say I didn't like her. Then I have to see her now. So I can know what kind of woman is so charming that made you change your decision. And convince you to give up your career in the United States. But if I call her over here, it'd be embarrassing. You have to think about how she'd feel. Well, you took off without even thinking about my feelings. Why should I care about her feelings now? Dr. Shen, do you have time? We have some patients that need checkups. Uh, let me introduce you. Uh, this is my mother and my sister. This is Hu Yang Yulu. Nice to meet you. Dr. Ouyang, how about we go and get something to eat? Ma'am, I'm sorry. I still have work to do. <laughs> That's right. Then, 
Can we find some time to sit down so we can talk? Come on, let's get it. All right, wait for me. Okay. Wrong, wrong. Yes? Aren't you taking a break? I won't. I'm on a diet. But you're so thin. How could you be on a diet? Really? I'm thin? Yes, you are. <laughs> but I'm worried about your health. Hey, you can't do this to yourself. So what do you want? I'll get it. Fine, let's eat together once I'm done with this. Okay, then. I'll help you. Okay. Did you see it today? Dr. Shen's mother? I have. I was really wondering how she looked like that. She looked elegant and charismatic. When I was talking to her a while ago, it really felt like there was this strong wind blowing towards my direction. Are you being serious? That's crazy. I know, right? Hey, did I did I hear that you're not going to eat? Oh, we're we're going to eat, but we're still doing this. So, shall we go now? Uh, uh. Shen King Chuan's mother's here today. Honestly, you gave me a good first impression, with regards to both looks and character. I really think you're a great match for my beloved son. I see that you're an ER doctor, while my ideal daughter-in-law would be a medical specialist. Mom. Let me finish first. But I don't see a big problem. Well, at least I know that you're both doctors, and you have lots in common. And besides, I believe you're both adults now. You have all the right to make your own decisions in life. As a mother, I sincerely support my son's choice. But also for the same reason. I really hope you know how much he loves you. Because if not, he would never leave the US and come back here without telling me he gave up his career for the woman he loves. Maybe you haven't realized it yet. Just how big of a sacrifice he made for you. And since he came back here, he's now forced to work hard for ten more years. So I want to make sure that you follow up on this. It's really important, okay, oh. Family? Okay. Hey, uh, have you guys seen Dr. Shen today? I haven't. Okay. Henry Yang? I haven't. Oh, but why? Oh, n nothing. What's going on? Aside from giving up his career, he almost considered giving up his family for you. Before he left the U.S., he never said anything about his plans. I just received an email from him a few days ago informing me about his decision. He told me he's expecting his father and I to get angry about his decision to leave. Of course we got angry. But we try to understand him. But we're still upset. Mom, does this mean that you haven't disowned me yet? After saying all that to Yang? Of course, I can't do that. I have to say that giving without receiving is the noblest act. But I don't want my son to be a noble man. I want him to be happy. I suppose you understand my point, Yang. We all know that any woman wishes her husband to have a successful career. Shen Ching Chuan was about to reach the peak of his career. But he gave it all up, so he can be with you. I hope, after hearing all of this, you would do something for him. I really hope you would also give something up for him. If you really love him, I hope you will go with him to the US. Of course, if you decide to leave, you won't just simply become a plain housewife. Of course I'm aware that a woman like you wants to have her own career and be independent. Don't worry, we'll be here for you. We'll support you. And Chen Ching Xuan's medical careers? We're going to make sure that your careers will have progress. I have connections with domestic hospitals, and even though they're smaller than private hospitals, the exposure is much better. I hope that's enough reason. For me to convince you. Ma'am, I think what you said was great. But I want you to know that Ching Xuan and I are just colleagues. We're not in a relationship. She's telling the truth. I'm still courting her.
If I ever said anything that was inappropriate, please forget about it. I guess I should go now. You have work to do. Follow me. Goodbye. Cheng Cheng Chuan, we're going to discuss this once you get back home. Hey, what's going on? Why is his mother here? What does that mean? I'm going out for lunch. What? Hey! But... Hey, is there a problem? What was your mother doing here, huh? Oh Young didn't tell you. She just walked away and left me standing in your office. Hey, we had an agreement, right? Neither of us can make a move to get close to Ouyang. Then your mom shows up and I think, I think that's unfair, man. Your IQ is really low. Yeah. I hope your EQ isn't as low as your IQ. Don't forget our agreement. What? Will you repeat what you said to me, huh? Yes, Mom? Oh, hey, Lulu. I wanted to ask you, remember that Jinka fellow? I do. I knew you haven't forgotten him. As far as I could remember, you were impressed by him. Not that I can remember. But how is that even possible? He said he can't stop thinking about you. He just got back from Hong Kong today and didn't even go home because he wanted to see you. Hey, promise me, Oya, if you're going to meet him, you won't push him away, okay? Mom, can you please stop meddling with my life? I can already take care of my son. Okay, then in that case, I'll leave you alone now. Lulu, let me remind you that you're not getting younger anymore. Are you talking about boyfriends, Mom? Because I have one. Really? You've got one? Who is it? He's from our hospital. Oh, I suppose you're referring to that Dr. Chung. <sighs> Don't bother guessing. I'll take him to see you. Okay, okay. Hey, let me remind you. If you're going to see Jinke, don't forget to be nice to him, okay? Remember that he's the son of a family friend. That's why we can't ruin our relationship. Okay, okay, I've got it. Mom, I have to go now because I'm busy. I'll see you later, all right? Ah, uh, well. Oh, uh, Oyang. What is it? Ah, uh, well, actually, I've been thinking about this, and I think it's time for you to know it. What's this all about? Oh, uh, actually, just now I... <gasps> it's so... He's in critical condition. Xiao Su! 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 Do you really think doctors only treat their friends? Sue's a regular patient here. He's been in and out of here since he was seven. That's why all the doctors here know him well. Ma'am, excuse me. Head Nurse Lin, Sue's back. Is there any space? We have over 100 patients today. Beds in the observation room are all doubled up. In fact, we don't have any space. Wang Bo, you prepare to treat him. I'll find a bed. I'll go with you. Okay. He's unconscious. Dilated pupils. No heartbeat. Needs CPR. Defib. Okay. He needs to undergo an endotracheal operation. He's critical. <sighs> Them. 
Oh, what can I do for you? The doctor's gonna see you soon. My doctors are gonna be okay. Just be careful. I'm so worried about you. Thank you. Are any of them outpatients? There are none. All of them are serious cases. Charge. Discharge. Oh, if there's not enough space, then what do you think if we just just add like a bed over this area? That's not possible. Hey, we can't hey. block that area. Are there any updates on Chao Xi's condition? They're looking into it now. Nurse Lin and I are looking for a bed. We already searched everywhere, but all are taken. <sighs> Our biggest challenge now is availability of space. Why don't we place him in the office instead, so we can look at him closely? That's right. Okay, let's do it. While we look for space. Charge! Step back! Discharge! Charge! Step back! Discharge! Miss Wang, can we see the observation logbook? Okay. Well, what about observation five, huh? That's it. That's the one. Why don't we just move into the main room? Then we could put Xiao Su in his place. There's no space in the main room. Who are we going to move? Let's check. Then the tiger finally said, so you think I wouldn't recognize you with that vest on? <laughs> Okay, okay. You should take a rest. <laughs> Dr. Chung, head nurse Lin. Mm, please tell me a story. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you one. What story do you want to hear? Blind man and the elephant. Blind man and elephant. Okay, I'll tell you that. Once upon a time, there were some blind men. They heard an elephant walk past yes. them. They were all trying to figure out... I'd like to talk to you and discuss us. about something. What is it that they felt... Well, ma'am, currently the ER's full, and our space is very limited. I can tell from here that your child's stable now, so if it's okay with you, I'd like to suggest to take your child home so she can rest well. At least there, unlike here in the hospital, you won't spend that much. But Dr. Chung, will she be okay if she goes home? There's nothing to worry about. I can assure you that your child's condition is already stable. If you want, after she goes home, just feel free to call me anytime you want, at any place, and in any hour. If you call me, I'll be there. <laughs> uh, then the second blind man, well, then he talked to him. <laughs> uh, uh, honey, <laughs> Dr. Chung just told me that you can go home anytime now. Is that okay? Would you like to go home? Yes, I do. <laughs> you want to go home? If you do, then you have to promise me that once you get home, you will listen to your mom. And no running around, you understand? What do you say? Okay. Well, that scared the hell out of me. Hmm. I didn't think we'd be able to save him. Once I'm around, no patient will be left unsaved. Hey, those are big words, huh? As doctors, we can't guarantee anything about our patients. Uh, I agree, Director. I will be more modest and less arrogant from now on. Xiaoxu's condition is getting worse as we speak. And even if we manage to save him, we can't tell what will happen That's next. Right. Hey. Zhou Zhen. Hey. Were you able to find a bed? Oh. I talked to Tang's mother and they agreed to go home. As for Su, he'll just stay in the main room for now. After that, we'll move him to observation. Good. Is that really necessary? If that's the case, then why don't we just give Tang's bed for Su to occupy instead? Come on. We know that Su's condition is very severe, and his family don't have the money to afford it. The daily fee in the main room, plus all the medicines, plus the bed fee, is over 2,000. Observation's much cheaper. So after Sue transfers there, his family can save up at least 2,000 a day. I agree with Dr. Chung. Sue's condition is very rare and unusual. Cerebral atrophy at seven years, then in and out here for almost a decade. And his family is poor. Her mother's jobless and her father works odd job. That's why, let's try to help them save up. Hmm. Uh, you can go home. Try to get some rest. Wang Bo? Hmm? You're the chief resident now, so try to get some sleep, okay? Cheng Jin, hmm? look after Su. Got it. I'm the chief on duty today. See you later. Bye, director. Bye, director. Bye, director. Wang Bo, go get some rest. I'll be here. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, if that's what you want, then I'll go home and get some sleep. Thank you.
What's up? Why are you giving me those puppy eyes? Go home. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Hello, this is Ouyang. It's me, Chunka. I just arrived back from Hong Kong, and I also brought something for you. If you're free tonight, I'm inviting you for dinner. Hey, what time will you be off work? I'll go and pick you up. Thanks, Mr. Jin, but I'm busy and I don't have time to eat with you. And we're not that close, so you don't have to buy me presents, okay? Goodbye. You think I'll stop that easily? If Shunqing Chuan can play dirty tricks, then why can't I do the same? Why do I have to play nice? She's waiting for you. Mom, this place is quite nice, isn't it? If you're going to buy a ticket to the U.S., then I'll feel better. We agreed about this already, right? Because you said that you'd work here. Instead, you're chasing after a woman. You're chasing after a woman who doesn't even think of you. If you're really my son, then you're going to forget about that Dr. Oh Young and come home with me. I can't do that. Are you really going to disobey me? All right. If you don't want me to bother you, then I think it's better we cut ties. Waiting for me? Yeah, I was. Did you wait here because you wanted to talk to me about your mother's visit? Yeah. My mother visited because she wanted me back. She wants me to forget who you are. To be honest with you, I think she's got a point. You should listen to her, you know. You should. I think Hu Young misunderstood the situation. I wanted to explain things to her. That's why I want to know when she has the time to talk. But don't worry. I won't let this matter get in the way of our agreed fair competition. But on the contrary, you see, if your mother helps you, I think it's really unfair because it's going to be cheating. But if she helps me in the process, then I think it's really fair in the end. I wonder why you have to be so cocky. Don't tell me that I didn't give you a chance, okay? Oh, Yang, the good Dr. Shen here has something important to tell you. Hey, you two look like those standing guards. What's going on? What are you doing? You said everything has to be out in the open. So whatever it is, you can say it in front of me. I won't mind. But of course. Let's go inside. We can talk about it after work, okay? So if you're really planning to say something to Oyang, remember to let me know, okay? <laughs> 